Honoring Native American Heritage on KFDX is brought to you by Comanche Nation Entertainment. They're known as Lords of the Plains who moved from the Shoshone tribe in the late 1600s. From Canada all the way down to Texas, the Comanches moved south in search of a new homeland using their tremendous skills on horseback for hunting and also in times of war. Tonight, KFDX and Texoma's Fox are wrapping our month-long National Native American Heritage Month series. And Curtis Jackson and I are very proud to bring you the Comanche Nation. I'm the great, great, great grandson of Quanah Parker. This is something else here. Dr. Dustin Tomacara, an Iowa Park graduate, is a professor of indigenous media and sound in the Department of Native American Studies at the University of Oklahoma. Comanche men wear the blanket on the one shoulder like this, carrying his eagle feather fan. In his latest book, Cinematic Comanches, Tomacara explores the history of his Comanche people in cinema going back to Quanah Parker's first role. The bank robbery. Filmed in 1907 and then released in 1908, just after Oklahoma becomes Oklahoma, the state. Filmed in the Wichita Mountains cash area, Parker plays one of the good guys. He really is a co-star. He's the only one who shows up on a horse and in his own stagecoach. Quana Parker was the superior warrior and extremely intelligent leader who more than 30 years before brought from Paladuro Canyon some 400 war-weary Comanche followers to Fort Sill. Part of why we're still here is because of that very difficult decision he did make. The story of the Comanches cannot be told without talking of their last great chief, who descendants celebrate each year in the Hardeman County town named for him. It's where they show their pride and what it means to be Comanche. To hear that drum beat in here, that's something special to our Comanche people. Not only that, it's a social gathering. We can bring all our families together and we socialize. That's I think the socialization and seeing family and friends, that's the best part of our powwows. And also showcasing it to our community. Mark Wumavoya is chairman of the Comanche Nation, who's among leaders looking to the future for their tribal members with two things in mind. One's to take care of our elders. We learn from our past. And second is, to, is through education, our education department. We start them young and we bring them up. <laughs> And just a few of the ways revenue from Comanche casinos helps tribal members. You've got eyeglasses and prescriptions, also youth programs and daycares. But casino revenue also goes to help the non-tribal community. Not just in Comanche County, but all over southwest Oklahoma. Um, roads, bridges. You know, in the news recently, it was announced that Comanche Nation is um, helping the county fund Five, five or six bridges, and that's huge. Mia Tatanapa says Comanche casinos affect 32 counties in Oklahoma and six in Texas, with tribal employees spanning over 11 counties. That's a really big territory, and if we can give back to those communities and make them better because our tribal members and our employees live there, that, that's our duty. We have a new vision at the Comanche Nation, and it has brought our people together, and it's four powerful words. Comanche strong, stronger together, and our people have embraced that. A new vision as the Comanche Nation enterprise continues to grow while sharing its rich heritage throughout our communities with pride. I've yet to meet a Comanche who doesn't carry pride in being Numina and being Comanche. It is instilled, it is something almost born with of being proud of where we come from, of who we are, of where we're at now. And where the Comanche Nation will be in the future through education and technology because of these ancestral ways and knowledge that will live on. If you'd like to see for yourself the Comanche Nation Museum and Cultural Center in Lawton that includes an original congressional gold medal presented after the Code Talkers Recognition Act of 28 or 2008, there's a link for information inside the story over at TexomasHomePage.com that'll tell you all about it.